Hi everyone, we're back again for another Caroline Cares and sharing with Sean. We have a new pre-service class starting on June 7th, and today we want to talk about more what that looks like. So what is pre-service, how many hours, um, just the training that will prepare you to be a foster parent and gives you a lot more skills and tools to parent kids who are coming from hard places and just experienced maybe abuse, maybe neglect, some type of trauma. So Sean, can you explain a little bit more about pre-service? Yeah, thank you, Liz. I appreciate it. Um, so typically what happens in the pre-service process is that what will happen is you'll start um, in our pre-service classes, right? We have 12 classes, we call them modules that you have to go through um, to obtain your foster parent license. Um, and those classes uh, cover the array of levels of treatment that the children that we can receive in foster care. So it's our way of equipping you, giving you a basic introduction of what to expect, how to certainly understand things. So, uh, and then those classes, uh, we also follow with a first aid uh, training class. You have to be certified as a first aid too as well. And then we also make sure we implement that on piggyback is doing a, um, we want to make sure that we do a de-escalation class with you as well, just to kind of prepare you mentally how to de-escalate situations, because uh, those things can occur. Uh, and then after we equip you with all those classes, that is that point when when you do complete those modules, um, you know, you would at, at one point go to Caroline, who's going to start the um, home study assessment process with you. Hey, are those trainings in person? Or are they online, Sean? Oh, so great question. I appreciate that, Caroline. So typically how this works is we knew from the pandemic that everything went to the hybrid model, right? And so we learned a lot from that. We took that and implement it to what we're going to do moving forward. And so from the state regulations, we have to make sure that we follow those at the end of the day. OK, Caroline, you know yep. that, right? Yep. Yeah. So we re come up with a decision where their pathway, we want to make it fair for everyone involved. And so we are going to do about two or three modules that's going to be in person, but then predominantly, predominantly uh, Caroline, we're going to have those that's going to be a virtual. Um, yes. Yeah, so that is what we're going to do. It, it's not something a pathway wants to regulate. That is the state regulations, but we're, we're doing the best we can do on our end to make it fair for everyone. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. question. Though. Thank you. Yeah, because you really do care. I do. Karen Caroline. <laughs> And having in person classroom sessions that just brings a whole new level of connection and support as incoming new foster parents and you get to see people face to face. I mean, we all know that there's definitely a, a difference between being online versus being in person. So it it's new to us. It's new to you. So there might be some a uh, little twists and turns along the way, but we're definitely here to support you. So once again, new pre-service begins Tuesday, June 7th, and the first step is to reach out to Sean at 330-818-0444, or you can email him at shenry at pathwaycfc.org. So thanks for joining us.